Okay, it's day three. I'm feeling quite a bit better. A good sleep last night. I think I recovered quite well. I've had breakfast. It's now 11 o'clock. So I'm going to go for a little run. Go for about an hour. Not going to take my rucksack with me. So take it nice and light. After that, I'm going to go to another town called Tarragona. Uh, they've got like some old ruins there of I think it's a coliseum or something like that and some shops and stuff like that I might end up jumping on a train from there to Barcelona depends how I feel um, yeah I might do that I'm trying to stay out of these big towns though it's more opportunity to spend money on things I don't need Alright, now I'm going to go for my run down on the beach. Nice day today. Okay, I'm back in the hotel now. It's one o'clock. Just got back from the beach. Got some exercise in. Did four laps of the beach. 20 minutes of time. And a nice sprint finish. Got in my 100 press-ups, 100 sit-ups. So I'm feeling good now. I'm going to go do some touring. Probably go to Tarragona, which is another city about 25 minutes on the bus from here. And I have a shower and get set. And hit the road. Hey, it's 3 o'clock. I'm now in Tarragona, which is a city not far from La Pineda. It's about 25 minutes on the bus. Uh, this is Tarragona. Looks very, looks quite a bit like Barcelona, but a little bit more laid back. I just saw a university down there. I see a lot of kids with um, book binders coming from uni. I'm going to be heading to the old Colosseum in a minute. Uh, I'll do some video down there. It's an old Colosseum. They have an old Colosseum down here. Roman Coliseum or something. So I'll be there soon. Okay, in Tarragona. This is Tarragona. I'm on my way down to the Colosseum, the Roman Roman ruins. Small beach over here. Nice place to chill. Nice place to chill out, it really is. Hear the waves, hear the waves, relax. Palm trees, lots of shade. Here we are, here's the Roman ruins. 
here. Just say to him. And look at here, we even have a compass, old style compass. Oh, the shade. You alright, ladies? Mm. It's not actually a compass, it tells the time by the tell the t time by the shade that's right here's the old Roman Colosseum who knows what happened there hundreds of years ago there have been gladiators fighting and lions and all sorts Okay, I'm at the uh, Grand Palace Hotel, which is the five star compared to the four star part of the hotel I'm staying at. I'm staying at the Palace Hotel, which is next door. Obviously, I'm owned by the same people. I'm in the spa at the moment, and I'll try and give you a full tour of the Grand Palace Hotel. It's going to be like Crips, MTV Crips. Like, I'll show you the spa some jacuzzis one pool there another jacuzzi there another one there another pool there These things right here are amazing. The reason being, this comes out warm water at such force that it feels like someone's massaging your neck. Jacuzzi here. Not switched on at the moment. More jacuzzis, not switched on. There's the showers. Quite amazing showers, I'll show you how they work. These showers, but these showers, the water comes out from every angle, getting every part of your body. So it comes out from the bottom and it works its way up in every part of your body. Steam room. Steam room is massive. Can't really see inside, but it's probably one of the biggest steam rooms I've seen. You get some drinks and chill out there. Some lemon tea, whatever. It's a sauna. Nice big sauna. More chill, chill out area. This is the real chillax area. Chill out in here. So it's showing a movie of clouds and stuff. Just really relaxing music. You can sit in here and fall asleep. I just kind of come in here and use use it, I mean, 
No one says anything. It's meant to be for the five star area. I'm in the four star area, but no one questions which part I'm staying in. So, you know, <laughs> ask me no questions, I'll tell you no answers. So I'm just kind of chill. Okay, here's a pool outside, jacuzzi in the middle, that back door over there is always left open, that's my part of the entry, or you can swim in underneath there, because once you swim underneath that bit of plastic there, that actually goes into the spa, there's another pool here, That's for massage areas, massage pool there. Got a bar here, some tennis courts. Eating area. Go this way first. You can hear the music, sounds like it's coming out of the bushes. This is relaxing. This is the Grand Palace La Paneda. We have another pool. Look at this. You can have your own private jacuzzi. There's no one around here. No one here at all. Relaxation area. Pool. Head up to the top part. <coughs> There's one of the speakers where the music's coming from. Take a seat up here, you can see the beach. It's like you're almost sitting on the beach. Okay, I'm gonna end it with this. So next time, let's get a flight to the Peneda. Think twice while you're sitting at home, watching EastEnders, it's raining outside, you're eating your pizza. Think twice. You can have all this, see all this, experience all this, instead of sitting at home watching the EastEnders. And don't tell me it's about money because I've come here before and it's cost me as little as 20 quid on the flight. And the room is costing me about 20 something pounds a night. That's for one person. For two people, it's going to be about 15 pounds each a night. So it's not, it's, it's not a bank breaker at all. It's not a bank breaker at all, so the next time think twice as to all you out there, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs>